On this worksheet in column C, we have a listing of some of the games on the professional football schedule. We also have the date of the games listed in column A. And in column B, we would like to show the week of the schedule that corresponds to the date in column A. We will use the VLOOKUP function to make this happen. Notice on the right here in columns H and I, we have a table that shows the start date for each of the first six weeks of the professional football schedule. We will use this table in our VLOOKUP. We will start by clicking in cell B2 under the week column and typing an equal sign. For our function, we will type V, L, O, O, and see that the B lookup function appears below. We will select the function. For our lookup value, we'll select the date in cell A2 and then put a comma. For the table array, we'll select the table listed on the right in range H1 through I7. We will then put another comma. Now our table has two columns. In column 1, we list the start date for the week, and this column will be searched when we look up the value in A2. Column 2 has the corresponding week that we want to display in column B. So for the column index num, we will type 2 and then put another comma. Now we'll need to let Excel know whether we're looking for an approximate or an exact match. In this case, we will choose true for an approximate match. Any game that's played in week one will occur on or after September 4th. But before September 11th, when week two begins. We will then close our parentheses press enter and see that the first game listed on September 5th falls in week 1. To copy our function we will click in cell B2 and drag the fill handle in the bottom right corner. Unfortunately, something has gone horribly wrong, and our function kicks out an error beginning in cell B4. To check this error, we'll click on each of the cells. It appears that we used relative cell references for the table array in the VLOOKUP formula. To fix the error, we'll need to go and change these to absolute cell references. We will first go and delete the values in cells B3 through B49. We'll then click back on cell B2 and up in the formula bar, we will change the table array. H1 will become dollar sign H dollar sign 1. We will then make I7 an absolute cell reference by clicking in between the I and the 7 and pressing F4 on the keyboard. We will then press enter and we see the result. And then once again we'll use the fill handle to copy the function into the cells below. Notice that this time the function works perfectly.